So what's good people? This is Ken that little ass slash Coke Bane Charlie. And today the video we got today, we got Sweetie, otherwise known as Streety, out here performer on the Santa Monica Bay. Or the pier. So look man, we got her out here. Well she got herself out here. Out here performing on the pier. And I seen she had a little sign that said, I don't I don't know what the sign said, but I I've been looking at some videos around. Uh, and, and, and I've been seeing she got a little bucket, you know, a little bucket. You put the, you take the leftover food in from the cookout. Yeah. She got that type of bucket, got that bucket right there. And she got a little, she got people all around, probably like 30 to 40, 40 people around. Got little kids, even the little kids put money in the bucket. Look at, <laughs> even the little kids put money in the bucket. I don't know why. It seemed like she out there begging for money. I seen, I think I seen something that said a caption. Uh, rent is due, but before I even get straight into the video, we got somebody here new to the YML show right here. Go ahead and address yourself, man. What's up, people? My name is Andre. I'm here to tell my boy Keyshawn. We're gonna get right into it. But yeah, man, we got this video right here of uh, Streety right here performing. What do you think? What do you think about it, man? It is what it is. It seems like she's trying to get it any way she can. I ain't even know that that was her song, honestly. I thought that was somebody else's song she was trying to perform. It seemed like there's a very popular song, so you would think that she'd be making some type of money off that. Maybe she's just doing it, you know, to have a little bit of fun, get herself out there a little bit. But honestly, in my opinion, for me seeing her do this, I can honestly see like a new artist probably got like, I say less than five 5K followers on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. And I see artists up here trying to perform, you know what I'm saying, just to get their name out. But a, a artist, not even just only an artist. How many how many followers she got on Instagram? You know how many followers she got? Well, he gonna do the data on that. Most likely she got over a hundred k followers. I would never suspect no hundred k followers to be doing that. She had eleven point four mil. Eleven point four mil. Oh my. And she got twenty million monthly listens on Spotify. Twenty. Damn. So. And she out here big, and she out here got a a box that say, what? Let, let's see what. Hold on, let's go back to the video and see what the box say. I'm gonna skip through the video. Pause it. Oh. Pretty. Biatch summer donation. She asking for donations when you got 11 million followers. And I repeat how many monthly listeners she got just for the people in the back. She got 20 million monthly listeners on Spotify. 20 damn monthly listeners. Say it again. Say, say it one more time. Just say it one more time, bro. 20 million. 20 million monthly listeners. How much money do you think she getting from that? I have no idea, bro. So, 20 million monthly listeners... From every person that listen, you get zero zero three. Uh, I think it's seven cent. So let's do twenty million. I do the vibes. Let's multiply. Let's multiply. Yeah. Is it monthly listen or is it per song listen? So she getting seventy four thousand dollars every month just from her 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 her, her, her monthly listener. Mm -hmm. You getting seventy four thousand dollars. Now Quavo don't repo the truck. You ain't getting no money from the truck anyway. He repoed the Bentley, right? Just to make sure. Yeah. All right, so he done repoed the Bentley. What else he gave her? And he said he spent over $2 million on you. So you most likely got over, let's say, $500,000 worth of stuff. You could have sold that. And you're doing donations? Who are we donating to, sweetie? Who are we donating to? That's what I want to know. Man, look, this right here is ridiculous. Now, is this what we doing nowadays when we get 11? Would you do the same thing? No. The judge has spoken. Niggas in the hood want to do the same thing. Who else want to do it? Man, my grandma wasn't that did the same thing. I don't think so. No, I ain't gonna see it. Nah, but for real though, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this is a good look, man. I, I seen somebody spoke about it. They said, uh, they said, damn. Streety, uh, Sweetie, excuse me, uh, Sweetie uh, was doing it um, to better her performance, but 
in my honest opinion, being a performer, I think that there's other ways you could have level up on your uh, street performance. Get a little, you know what I'm saying? Performance credit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you could really, this would be a good look. Pretty girl, summer donations, you know. But, you know, uh, Streety, if you ever want to donate some of that money to my podcast, you know, like, uh, my PayPal, just hit me up. But, yeah, other than that, you know, uh, if you wanted to be a uh, better performer, you could have did more shows. You got one of the best performers. He been doing it for how, how long he been, uh, how long Quavo been a rapper? Well, I have no idea. He probably been rapping since me and you, since me and this dude was in elementary school. Not, not elementary. Middle school. Middle school. Since he, since we've been in middle school. Now, if that's true, you could have learned from him. But you was too much worried about getting a Birkin. You just look, you, you just a girl that look pretty. I'm not trying to degrade you. But you just a girl that look pretty. You probably should do modeling more than rap. If you out there... Your main purpose is to better your performance skills. I can't knock you for that. Like I said, I don't really know what's going on here. I, I don't want to put too much of my own opinions into your life. Because like I said, I have no idea why you out there or what you're doing. So, you know. I think he don't want to tell you the truth because, you know, he want to try to. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get no cheese one day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you the truth because I ain't looking for the cheese. But I'm gonna be for real with you. I just don't think it's a good look. But other than that, if y'all really think it's a good look for her, and y'all think that I was just a little bit too harsh, just leave it down there in the comment section. Me and him, we read the comments, see what y'all opinion is, and you know, we'll get straight back to you. And honestly, this is Ken Little right here, slash Coat Bang Charlie, your mama favorite rapper. I got merch. I'm going to be dropping the website inside the comments. So if y'all want to check out uh, the merch, it's in the comments. Y'all go buy my t-shirt, man. I don't think they need to hear that right now. I was going to get to it. Yeah. You about to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though, yeah. So I got the merch inside that. We got Drake uh, uh, merch. What is it? It's a flame t-shirt with a name on the back of it. Yes, sir. The highest selling product on that website. So go ahead and check that out. You feel me? You <laughs> you irking my last nerve. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end this, man. Y'all have a good day. And it's YML, your mama's favorite rapper. Catch me, catch me with your mama at 10 p.m. every single night.